the dude talking smack about you can't bench that and you curl it and you're like <laughs> I'm gonna be over here like happy Gilmore <laughs> this is gonna be so hard to be serious at all yeah I'm gonna act like I'm hitting the dirt off here, I'm, I'm gonna act like I'm, I'm, I'm gonna act like I'm Corey at the beginning yo yo daily fire episode two <laughs> I knew that was gonna fail. All right, all right, all right, all right. I, can't, I can't look at you now. Three, two. <laughs> this is gonna be so hard. Fucking make it through. <laughs> you get a fucking sword and a baseball bat. <laughs> oh, all right, here we go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Zoning, zoning. Oh, oh. Yo, yo, Daily Fire, episode 221. It's not Corey G. It's the D-A-W-G, the leader of the Arms Army, Cold Dog, with special guest, Small Arms Danny. What's good? What's good? Danny. So listen, this one's called How to Not Be Small and Be a Dog. Now, whenever you hear this, there's a lot of things coming to your mind. You're questioning yourself. Am I small? Am I, it, are my shirts not fitting right anymore? Like I'm so yoked. Like, like, I don't know what's going on, but Danny, the people want to know they're all over Twitter. They're following small arms. Danny. Now, what is like not being small? Like, how do you not be small? And what does that mean to you? Well, let, let's see here. I mean, first off, uh, as a general rule, rule of thumb, you definitely need to start sizing down on t-shirts, right? Yeah. Who, who sizes up anymore? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Cause, and then you really want to focus on, uh, you know, starting your, <laughs> your flex Friday with the arm gauntlet of hugeness. Oh yes. Pref preferably the one that was programmed today, AKA the OG 2011 version yes. Yes. where these pipes started. Absolutely. And, um, so you, let's talk about sizing down on t-shirts. You <laughs> always, you have a great saying of that. You want your sleeves to choke the biceps. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah. I mean, totally stole that from, uh, the man, the myth, uh, well, not the myth, just the man, the legend yeah. CT Fletcher CT shout out. Yeah. Shout out CT. We know you're watching this. Um, but yeah, choking the bicep, um, really just, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that's that's great advice because, you know, at the Arms Army, we say sleeves are the enemy, you know? Precisely. The goal is that you want your the shirt sleeves choking the biceps so hard that the seams rip in your shirt. Yeah, if if there's loose fabric, that means you're too small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too yeah. <laughs> which, which we're trying to be not, not small. small. Not yeah. small, right? Hence yeah. the t-shirt. Yeah, and, you know, for me personally, I one of my favorite things to be not small is to speak to my biceps. You know, I, I also, you know, CT is really like an arm god. He really is. He's, he's a, like one of the founding fathers of the arms. He's a huge inspiration. <laughs> yeah. But he would always say, speak to him. I command you to grow. I command you to grow. So that's why, you know, sometimes on Flex Friday while I'm banging curls, doing a rep progression, which is one of your favorites, I'm speaking to him. And what it, like people are like, what does that mean? It means I'm looking down on my biceps, grunting, like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> feed him. I'm saying feed him like I want. I'm trying to get my guys to eat. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> and, and you want that pump to be so nasty. And, and, what, and what you'll find is, you know, you'll have this epiphany whenever you realize like I'm not small anymore. Like I am hashtag not small. And that is when the bicep pumps on Flex Friday, the arm pumps is so nasty, you get pumped out. And what in, you know, pumped out, what does that mean? It means you have reached a level of where you're not small that now doing these arm workouts, you keep doing them, but the pumps are already so big, you're not feeling anything. Your arms are numb. They're so full. Yeah, the, the arm gauntlet will definitely accomplish this. And then not only will you fill out your t-shirts better, you will start to see that bicep vein start creeping oh. through. Oh. Right? Yeah, you hit that light, and then <laughs> and then yeah. you're about to see that bicep vein pop through. So and Absolutely, the absolutely. World changes. So, yeah, I, and I think, so to go on, to end the not small segment before we get to being a dog, um, what is one exercise that you'd recommend for someone who might be saying, wow, I'm not filling out my t-shirts. I, I need to be not small. What do you recommend? So I'm not going to give you one. I'm going to give you two. So oh, two, two, uh, two rep schemes here. So obviously you, you alluded, we'll, we'll start with the rep progression. Yes. You know, you know, going from five to six reps with the dumbbells, you know, 15s or 20s. You know, you go one regular, one hammer, two, two yeah. up to six. 
Um, if you want to superset with some, you know, team tricep, you can do that as well. Absolutely. Um, but one I have been messing around with is just your basic empty bar barbell curl, and then throw in that Corey G twist of German volume training. Ooh. So it's 10 sets of 10, 10 seconds rest between each set. Absolutely. Yeah. So you're, you know, you get through like three or four sets, you're like, oh, I'm a dog. And then like, yeah. then it starts to get really fucking tough. Oh, if you, if yeah. you stick to the 10 seconds. And yes. And that, that will lead you to the verge of being pumped out bicep explosion that's <laughs> yes. what, that's what happens yes a lot of the times we are saying my arms feel like they exploded yeah. I, I i said today i think i developed a severe case of swoliosis <laughs> after today's arm workout <laughs> my bicep my biceps were yoked yeah i mean by our set one you're you're pretty silent and then once you get to like you know set six or seven then you start growling a little bit yeah see, and, then, that, and that's and, what i'm talking about like feed them yeah, Eat. do yourself a favor today on this fine flex Friday and go go, or, uh, go on YouTube, put CT Fletcher in, and then watch him on the preacher curl. Yes, he's literally laughing at himself and yes. then talking to his biceps. Amazing. Yes, yeah. that's great. So you want to transition, Cole? Yeah, I, th I think. What, we what does it mean to be a a dog? A D A W. Oh, what do you say? D A W G. The D A W G. I'm yeah. the D A W G of TikTok, Instagram. Hopefully, the WWE one day. Shout out. <laughs> you know, we're gonna make that happen. I think the people want that to happen. But yeah, you know, just as you know, we have the millions of people asking small arms how to be not small. There's a lot of people that's like Cole. What does being a dog mean? What does that entail? And I'll tell you, you know, being a dog, it's it's a lifestyle and it's a mentality that you have to have. And I don't think it's not a mentality, you know, that you can come off the bat with, you know, you develop into a dog. It's just kind of like the first time you're doing curls, you know, not everyone's a grunter yet. You know, you're, you're, you're ripping out bicep curls on the cable machine. A lot of people are afraid to let out that grunt, mm. but the first step of becoming a dog is grunting while you're doing curls, you know? And it's that mindset of like, I am putting in hard work I'm being a dog. I'm challenging myself. And, you know, what, I, what What really comes down to is that this dog mentality, sure, whenever you're an actual full, you know, fucking dog, like you're like a bulldog with a huge neck, like you're grown. <laughs> you're in there. You're a dog. Um, you know, what will happen is on good days, it's real easy to let that bark out. Like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> but it's on the days that you're not feeling it. That, you know, shit's, shit's happening. You know, maybe the maybe the pump's not hitting right. You know, maybe, you know, lunges ain't feeling good. You know, maybe you're like, like, your mom, like your mom's texting uh, about some stuff and it's not really going great. You know, that's whenever the dog mentality needs to show up. That's and that's what dog. it's about. Yeah, yeah, the real dog. So what do you have, what advice do you have for the, the person out there that's like, maybe, you know, I'm kind of soft, you know, but I, but I want to be yeah. a dog. What, what, where do they start? Well, first off, I think you need to take it back to the roots, you know, on, <laughs> You know, shout out to all the TikTok trolls. You know, there's a lot of people on TikTok saying, like, you should skip the phase of doing, like, max out shrugs. That You should <laughs> skip the phase of doing heavy curls, like heavy cheek curls. Listen, there's something about whenever you just pick up heavy weight and you start fucking banging it. Don't care about the form. You're just testing your true dog inside of you. That, that first time, whenever you're trying to curl 135 on a barbell, 135 pounds, you got to play on the bar. Most people can't even bench that. Your mom can't bench that. Your girlfriend can't bench that. The dude talking smack about you can't bench that. And you curl it. And you're like, <laughs> all the way up. That's what you need to do. Push yourself. Go, go max out on shrugs. Go do heavy curls. Max out on bench. Do whatever you got to do. Just challenge yourself and let that grunt out. Let that dog out. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Cancel your membership at Planet Fitness. Go join the real gym and get fucking huge. That's facts. That's facts. Stay jacked. Be a dog. This was Daily Fire episode. What, what episode? 221. It doesn't matter what episode it was. Yeah. Be a dog. Stay jacked. See you later.